Can you please address this idea of what chemo is doing to the body? And what I mean is specifically in terms of the stem cells, you know, because a lot of people are hearing what you're saying a little bit now in this program. Wait a minute. They get chemo. The tumors are knocked down. Four years, five years, six years, everything seems fine. Oncologists are saying the cancer is gone. You're a survivor, whatever terminology they use. But then it comes back and tends to come back with a vengeance. Now, I know it's unpleasant to talk about, but can you help us understand why is it that chemotherapy seems to trigger this coming back of cancer in such a nasty way? Well, the problem with chemo is it doesn't address the underlying cause of cancer, which really is aberrant stem cells. You know, we all know about stem cells. We've read about them. These are these kind of primitive cells that exist in every tissue and organ, and they have a useful purpose. Their purpose is to provide a reservoir of replacement cells. For example, when the lining of the small intestine sloughs off, we need to replace it every five days, and the stem cells in the intestine are constantly reproducing and producing the new lining of the intestinal tract. When you have an injury to the skin, the stem cells in the skin create replacement cells so the skin can heal. They help us heal from normal turnover, as in the intestinal tract, from injury or from disease. And stem cells are critical. However, when stem cells start growing uncontrollably, they can form tumors and cancer. Now, chemotherapy doesn't tend to affect stem cells. It tends to affect the mass of tumor cells that come from the stem cells, but actually kind of differentiate and become more mature. And the chemo addresses the visible tumor cells that everyone's concerned about, but it's really the nests of aberrant stem cells that are the nidus, really the, the focus of cancer, and they're the cause of cancer and that form the cancer. And you can knock out 95% of a tumor and everyone gets excited, but if the abnormal stem cells are still there, at some point, they may be quiet for a while, they'll start regenerating and reproducing and produce another tumor, and usually it is more aggressive. One of the problems with chemo, it tends to select, knocks out 90% of the tumor, but leaves the stem cells that tend to get more aggressive with each bout of chemotherapy. Now, Dr. Wicca, W-I-C-H-A, at the University of Michigan, back in the early part of uh, the last decade, about 2002, 2003, first started suggesting the reason chemo doesn't work, it's not addressing the stem cell issue in tumors. Tumors have stem cells that are the real reservoir of the abnormal cells, and they got to be addressed, and chemo doesn't touch them at all. So there is, there are oncologists that are beginning to realize the standard approach of trying to knock down tumors may be totally primitive and misguided and not, not really dealing with the crux of what cancer is, which are these abnormal stem cells. The rest of this interview plus much more is available in the Natural News Inner Circle. Join us today.